In this encircle quick tip, we're gonna be talking about moisture points and how to measure and mark them on a job site. Come on, I'll show you. When you start your job, you actually wanna go through and just find out what's wet before you start marking walls. But after that, you can use some tape or you can use a sticker and you wanna actually start marking the materials on the walls so that you can create a moisture point surface where you're gonna be there. So this is moisture point number one. Inside that moisture point, we're actually gonna have multiple materials that we're gonna be reading. Drywall, the baseboard, we got sill plate, we might be doing some tile work or subfloor. And if you had carpet or other types of flooring materials, you could be measuring all of those here at moisture point one. Typically, it's gonna be from about 24 inches out to about 24 inches away from the wall. Anything further out from that, and I'd mark it with another moisture point. One of the questions we normally get asked is how often do you put a moisture point? So if it's higher than 24 inches or further than 24 inches out from the, uh, from the wall, I'm gonna put another moisture point. And then about every eight feet, eight to 10 feet, I'm gonna mark my moisture points as I go around and I'm gonna put some in the middle of the room as well. You wanna make it super easy for the technician that's coming in next day or, or, or later that day to be able to find out what you did come back, repeat those moisture points, and get some accurate readings. And that's your Encircle Quick Tip.